Hello, this is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. So this, this all was a pile here, but now we're working on this section, which was, I think we started like right in here over to here. So we moved the, this is the first time trying this, so we moved the log splitter here. You can see we have our little, uh, uh, small solvers I made for that. I have the cart here for the split wood. I have a white piece of Tyvek or something underneath to collect all the small pieces to drag into uh, some low spots. This All this stuff here is going to be fill for low spots. We put a couple saw horses here, a piece of plywood, and we stacked all the stuff that needed to get split from this pile there. So we're going to split, put it there, and that was the stuff from this pile that didn't need splitting. Looking from this angle, it's a pretty bad stack job, but yeah, you know. You have to, just like writing a word, right? You can't keep erasing it. <coughs> you gotta let the letters be. That created it, let it be. So this is all like scrap, I think. That's gotta get like split up into smaller pieces for fill. And then we have to uh, I think we're going to just uh, hand, hand cut and hand split these pieces, stack them over on that pile, perhaps. We'll see how we go. Yep, let's see how this works. All right, let's see how she looks. <clears throat> so we took the wood from that one, put it on here. Split pieces we put on the cart. This is all... You can see all the small dust and things, is, which is why I wanted to collect on the white. But all of this was, uh, I guess I can kind of tell now when it splits, <coughs> it just crumbles. It's not firewood anymore. <laughs> so that's all going to be part of fill. But what I'm thinking is that I'm going to take that and notch it and tuck it up underneath here to about here. So as the pieces come off here, they're falling down. I want them to get caught here and now we'll push them on the cart. So we will measure that. Walk in the project site. We got our cart back on our trailer. We got the trailer hooked up to the car. That's always a good thing because we had the car unhooked to move the uh, log splitter over. So I probably need to pull this down a little bit. Keep the rain off of it. So we worked on this whole pile in here today, which I thought was pretty impressive. We got all the good stuff, <coughs> relatively speaking, stacked over there. Uh, we still have to go through this pile and then these pieces. All, I think next time we're going to bring the chainsaw and we're going to modify this to go the front end of that. Uh, and get another piece of plywood I have, a particle board, to use as an infeed. And this is an interesting, so this is all the stuff I split, and I can kind of tell now when I'm splitting it, if it crumbles, it's probably not firewood anymore. <laughs> like I'm not a, a, a log splitter type of guy, but this I'm thinking is gonna go in a pile, and we're gonna try to chip it first, because it looks too big really for fill. We don't really have that, only one spot where that really needs big stuff. But I'm thinking that might go into a chipper now that it's at least less than seven inches. Uh, so we might put that on a chip pile, which I don't know where it's gonna be yet. Uh, and then we'll rent a chipper and we're just gonna try to chip what we can and see how it goes. We haven't tried that phase yet. This here is smaller pieces and actually a lot of compost, if you will. So we need to bring a shovel uh, it'd be nice if I had a bucket on a tractor, but I don't right now. Uh, this we're going to use as finer fill. That stuff over there really is like needs to get split a little bit and then go in a chip pile. That's my thought. This is my unprofessional, and I'm not very proud of it, but you know, when you build a doghouse, you got to start somewhere. Your first doghouse. So that was my first dog house, really. I've stacked firewood for other people, but you know, they kind of do all the critical stuff. So this is my second dog house. 
not looking too good. <laughs> Although I did decide that, you know, these things here, you can't, I used to put three just because I felt bad they were open space, but then things would rock. So it is what it is. I can't get the stakes out. Uh, either get a, needed to get a farm jack or I need to get a, a bucket on a tractor to pull those out. So that's what it's going to be for now. That is going to be burn pile because it's got nails in it. And I wouldn't put that, definitely not going on a chipper and to bury it. I just don't get a good feeling about burying wood with nails in it. I'd rather burn it, pick out, you know, run a magnet through, get whatever nails you can, and then, you know, dump the ash in a spot. So here's our one spot you can kind of see, you know. We're filling it in with uh, smaller scraps, but I don't think those big pieces are going to be good fill for this. So we got a spot over there I could use some smaller fill. Uh, so maybe we're going to chip. Maybe we're gonna yeah, you know, let's get, you know, this over here is probably worthwhile for some chips, wood chips. I don't know it's going to take chunks. This probably chips would do well in here. This was where the wood chipper was. Uh, we got all this stuff, but I, like, need a spot to uh, stack it. And I don't have that spot yet because I either got to clean out some spot along in here. I had this spot kind of cleaned out in here, except uh, they decided to dump a whole bunch of new logs here. So let's stop that process. All right, so, you know, just pondering here. Like, am, am I overdoing this? Like, why don't you just leave a pile of that there, it'll decay. Well, here's what comes to mind. Are you really willing to run your mower deck over that? I mean, you know, this has to get maintained, right? So you have to run a mowing deck of some fashion, even if it's a brush hog, right? Uh, and are you willing to run it over that? Nah, not me. So, <clears throat> you know, I think we need to, it needs to get cleaned up more.